أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This week for our thought of the week we want to reflect on another tradition another saying which has been reported to come to us from the commander of the faithful Imam Ali may God's peace and blessings be upon him and in this tradition he shows us the difference between truth and falsehood how to distinguish right from wrong what is actually the reality and what is fiction and whereas sometimes when we look at such traditions we uh, you know realize that sometimes there is obviously much truth to these but we also need to realize that we live in an age in which even truth and falsehood are easily falsified but let us first reflect on the tradition read the tradition and then we can reflect on it in a bit more detail and depth and in this tradition we are told that the commander of the faithful has say, stated the following Verily, there is nothing between truth and falsehood but a span of four fingers. Falsehood is to say, I heard, while the truth is to say, I saw. If you were to take your four fingers and put them between the end of your eye and your ear, you'll realize that there's approximately a four finger span between these two organs. And as the commander of the faithful is showing us and telling us within this tradition, that this is the difference between truth and falsehood, just four fingers. Falsehood most times is what you hear, while the truth is what you see. Right? And we understand this in many different levels. Many times people will pass around a rumor, they'll make a statement, and they'll say, I heard that somebody did such and such a thing. And you ask them, did you see them do that action, that bad action, for example? And you say, no, I didn't see them, but I heard that they did it. So we have to realize, we have to be smart, we have to be wise and realize that not everything that we hear is truthful. Similarly, not everything that we see is also truthful with optics and you know, with special effects nowadays. Even you see a picture online or a video online and you're not sure really is that actually the reality. But if you see something happening in front of you, if you see a bad action or a good action happening in front of you, or you hear about something good or bad happening, there is a stark difference between these two. To see, for example, a believer who is a devoted believer eat food in the month of Ramadan, breaking their fast intentionally, not for a valid reason, not for health issues, not for any other reason, but just the fact that they don't accept the act of fasting in the month of Ramadan as an example. And for you to hear that somebody broke their fast are two different things because many times you may hear things people may say things about other individuals which are fabrications they're not truth they're lies and maybe they have a vendetta a grudge to settle with that individual and so they make up stories about them but when you see something with your own two eyes you can rest assured that that is the reality that is the truth what you are seeing and so as believers as human beings rather even we need to ensure that we don't just base our opinion on what we've heard on hearsay but rather that we base it on what we have seen with our own two eyes that we give people the benefit of the doubt that we don't listen to uh, you know stories that people make that rumor mongers will circulate just to cause havoc and problems and troubles within a community and within and within a society wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh